Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Carolyn and if you're following along on my YouTube channel, you'll see that we are having our 2020 Simple Abundance year. We're using Sarah Bon Bronick's book, Simple Abundance, as our guide. It's a day book and it goes every day of the year, an entry, and then at the end of every month, there are what she calls joyful simplicities, which are things that we can do to savor that particular month or season or be thinking ahead to other seasons. And her principles that this YouTube channel is dedicated to are joy, harmony, gratitude, order, beauty, and simplicity. And I apologize if the camera is shaky because I'm holding the device that I'm recording with. So uh, this is like a handheld sort of experience today. I don't have a tripod or anything. But this is what I call my winter snow in basket. Isn't it cute? I even cut out those snowflakes and put glitter on them and believe me this is like a cheerleader for me because I live in the northeast and we do get a lot of snow so this is a way of gathering some things that will make those snow days a little bit more exciting a little bit more fun and I got this idea from the January joyful simplicities where Sarah encourages us to stock up things for our cupboard, gathering teas and hot chocolate and maybe ginger snaps, things like that that you can sit by the fire with some cozy socks and just savor winter, even if, like me, it's not my favorite season, I have to say. But since I started doing this, this is my second year with it. You can see I put it right as I'm coming in the house, so it's like I can't even miss it. But since I've been doing it, it's it's a little fun survival kit for myself to to just try to be a little more excited about the season. So let me take you through a few things. I've got some creative projects and some little pampering things and I love to do puzzles. So you can see actually one of the puzzles I got is sort of a beach theme. So it'll be making me feel like I'm in Florida or somewhere else, I guess. And uh, I am not big on like the $500,000 piece size. So you can see I have a 300 and a 350. So I want to be able to do those within a day or two. So it's just a nice little experience. And I don't have a real fireplace, but I do have a little electric one that looks pretty and it can even put out heat if I want it to. So I like to get the fire going and I put a big thing on my couch and have fun. I've got some brownie mix here. I got it on sale because it's about to expire, so I'll have to make it soon. But it is a gluten-free, dairy-free mix, so that'll be something fun. I got this bentonite clay, and that'll be nice for my spa bath time. I've got some bath salts down in there, too, and a little, like one of those bath bomb things that explodes when you put it in the water. I got some movies. I, of course, I have hot chocolate. I mean, it's not winter without hot chocolate, right? <laughs> and as far as movies go, I mean, there's so many streaming services now, but I do like to pick up movies whenever I can at Goodwill even because you can get them for a dollar or two or at yard sales. And I do have a VHS one in there too, if you can believe it. I still have a, a VHS machine. I have Adventures in Babysitting. Uh, the VHS is Sleeping Beauty. I love Disney. And I actually didn't have that one. Um, and I've got mm, a couple of new movies of uh, just things that I've picked up if I see something. Mermaid stickers, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. But I also love these coloring things that you just use a marker and they're kind of just mindless. And then I've grabbed some catalogs that have been sitting around and I can't even believe. Yeah, one of them is from 2016. That's how long it's been sitting around. So it's 
I don't always make time to do that, but I really like looking at catalogs. It's fun to just get ideas about things and, and of course, magazines that I can take into the bathtub or just put some soft music on and look at the pictures. I, I like to do that sort of thing, and I just don't always make time for it. So, yeah, I've got a bunch of them. And winter is really the perfect time. I also have this, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but an artist palette for painting. And I like the fact that at wintertime, life sort of slows down. It does give you an excuse to stay in and, and just sort of savor your time and not feel like you have to be outside doing things. So I don't mind it in that respect. I'm just definitely, I like to be warmer more than I like to be cool, cold. So, uh, again, I'm wondering if you've ever thought to do this. It's just really a fun survival, winter survival basket. And even if you live somewhere warm, maybe you grab the things that you like to do in the winter because just the pace of winter is different in no matter where you live, I'm sure. So I hope you like this idea. Definitely share in the comments if you do. And I appreciate all your likes and shares and feel free to share the channel too and get some more buddies along for the ride. Thanks so much and I will talk to you next time.